Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and I am here with a mystery box from Plastic Empire. That's right, this is a mystery box with six pops, so we're going to shoot over so I can show you guys what the box is all about. So let's go ahead and flip on over. So now that we've flipped over here, it is guaranteed one chase, guaranteed one exclusive. It's the Slummer Blowout Mystery Box. It was a pretty cheap box. That was the only reason I grabbed one. It was $49.99. You got six pops, uh, one chase, one exclusive. No telling what's in these boxes. Only It says right here only $39.95. Is that what I paid? Yeah. I paid the $39.95 plus shipping, which says less than $7 a pop. Well, that's not always good because are the pops less than $7? <laughs> but either way, uh, we're going to go ahead shoot back over we're going to cut open this box and see what exclusive we get what chase we get and what the other ones are <laughs> so let's go ahead cut this box open i will not look into it we will do a mystery draw let's try to open it upside down hopefully they're in there so that i can not look at them but see the bottoms and be able to pull them out easily almost cut myself all right so this way they are upside down wow nothing's in a protector so hopefully this was a double box so this box was in another box with lots of space in case that box got destroyed so it was a really good packing job from the outside i haven't got into the box yet all right so we're gonna start we're gonna grab one at a time show them off and we'll do value at the end and we'll do value like always where i compare the hobby db to what things are selling for on ebay all right let's see this way this one does have a sticker on it so this may be the exclusive that doesn't feel like a chase sticker but ready boom oh it is a baruto um triple a anime exclusive this is not an anime we collect so i'm not sure i know that most of these pops really don't have at least the ones I've seen come through with us don't have a lot of value. This one has a, this one has two stickers on it. All right, ready? Boom. Oh, it's our chase. It's another, it's a Naruto. Oh, it's Kakashi Hot, hot Take. Not another one we collect, but there's our two good ones right out the bat. And I took those from the middle, so I'm going to assume the rest. They probably put those, I wasn't even thinking. They probably put those in the middle to protect them in case there was damage. Anyways, boom. Oh, Trick or Treat Sam. Now, he's the cute one. I know he's not worth a lot. Um, I know for a while their Spirit Halloween was selling him for like five bucks. So I know he's not worth much more than that. Another one. Oh, this one has a sticker on it too. All right, ready? Boom. Oh, this is Thor, Love of Thunder, uh, specialty series. This is Gore. I've never seen Thor, so I honestly couldn't tell you. I'm not really into Marvel that much. But that's cool looking pop. And so far, um, this one has some massive damage on it right there. Well, not really massive, but you can see like the damage on there. So I'm not really sure. But other than that, most of them have looked pretty good. This one, no sticker. Ready? Boom. And it's upside down. All right, we got the Godfather, Sonny Cor Corlino. I am not sure. I don't think these have a lot of value either. I'm sure the Thor one doesn't either. All right, last one. Oh, this one has a sticker on it too. Ready? Boom. Oh, it's Star Wars. Koshka Revis. I know a bunch of these were at five below. I'm not sure if this one was or not. Now let's go ahead and let's look all of these up. And we're going to come back and we're going to do some value for you guys. Okay, so we looked up value on all of these and we will go over each one. Now remember, I paid with shipping around $49.00. So that would be our goal to at least break even, okay? So we're going to start out with Thor, which was the only one that came really with damage. If you look at the corners, like every edge is damaged, like along the edge. Especially this one. You can really see it right there with this one, okay? But this one on Hobby DB is $8.00. And on eBay, it's selling for about five. Okay. Next one we will go with is the Godfather. This one on Hobby DB is $11 and it is selling for about five on eBay. All right. We will go to the next one, which would be 
Sam, ironically, is showing at $13 on Hobby DB. And what I expected on eBay, it is selling for about five bucks. All right, next one is, all right, I got two that are tied. So next one, we'll go with the Star Wars one here. This one is 17 on Hobby DB, and it's going for as low as five bucks. And some of them even a little less than five, but I never say less than five, okay? But it's going for five bucks on eBay also. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shoot over to the exclusive, which I'm guessing a few of those actually were. This one is Baruto. It runs about $17 on Hobby DB, and it's selling for as low as five bucks on eBay, okay? Last but not least, our Chase. Our Chase is only on Hobby DB for $39, and it's going for as low as $18 on eBay. So when you add them all up, oh, I just noticed that this exclusive had a little minor ding on it too. When you go through them all, if you use the Hobby D, D price, it comes to a total of $105, which means I was about $55 over value. But if I go by the eBay selling prices, this is about $43 and I'm losing about seven bucks. So that's the more legit price. So honestly, it's guaranteed value for the Hobby DB or Funko app if you choose to use one of those, but it's not guaranteed value if you have non-keepers that you wanna get rid of, because there's nothing here I got that I would keep. I will ask Spectre about this one because I know that he doesn't really collect Naruto Pops, but I know this is one of his favorite characters from this one, but I don't think he's gonna wanna keep it. So actually none of these are keepers for us. So I will have to put them all up on eBay or as giveaways or whatever, but I will not make my money back on them. So unfortunately, but you know, I mean, if I had to pick a favorite, ironically, it would be Sam out of them. I like Sam, he's cute. I don't really watch a lot of horror movies, but he's really cute. From the cult hit Trick or Treat comes Sam, the mischievous spirit of Halloween who enforces the holiday ancient traditions. Wear a costume, hand out treats, never blow out a jack-o'-lantern, always check your candy. To the untrained eye, Sam looks like any other trick-or-treater. But what lurks under the burlap sack and orange foodie pa oh, footy pajamas is anything but sweet. Like I said, that's the one I would pick. Anyways, let me know what your favorite is. Did you grab one of these boxes? How'd you do? I mean, I know most people will go with the Hobby, D D Hobby DB value, but I've been watching too much of the luau to know that, you know what? I need to be checking other prices too. So again, I made $43 on a $39.95 box before shipping. So shipping, it was about 49. So again, I'm still at like a six, almost $7 loss. So let me know what you think. Don't forget, leave a comment. Could get you entered in the giveaway. Actually, let me know what favorite pop you, you um, like. Never know, I could choose a giveaway from this video and you might win that pop. And also stick around, check out my Patreons. They get something every month. If you're interested, there is a link down below. And until next time, remember, keep on rocking.